So the Yankees just signed a former Red Sox pitcher to a minor league deal. And I think that this could actually be a pretty noticeable move for the Yankees. Because I think this guy is going to get some playing time in New York. And that is Tyler Danish. So Danish is a right-handed reliever. He is 27 years old. Last year, he pitched with Boston, and he had a 5.13 ERA in 40 and a third innings with a 4.97 FIP. <clears throat> he is mainly a curveball, sinker, changeup guy. All three of those pitches have good movement. The curveball moves horizontally, so acts more like a slider. <clears throat> the sinker is about 90 miles an hour, has good movement, and the change has a good amount of drop. So three good pitches there. Did throw a little bit of a fastball slider too, but those are the three main that he throws. And I think this is actually a very sneaky good signing. Because pitchers like this can be kind of hard to get by and do affect the major league roster. Sometimes I'll see people talk about like, oh, this move won't matter at all. This guy's never going to pitch with the Yankees. I don't think so. Think of Ryan Weber last season. The guy got over 10 innings pitched with the Yankees, shuffling between the minors and the majors, and he was signed as a minor league free agent a year ago. Just relievers who can be DFA'd at any moment, go and pitch if guys get suddenly injured, they're valuable for teams. And getting depth like this is very, very important for an organization. Just having someone that you know at a moment's notice you can call and add to the major league roster and get depth in the bullpen, get someone who can eat some innings, that is useful and very good to have. So I think this is a great minor league signing here. You know, his pitches have good movement on them. You never know what the Yankees could do with that. They've been very good at developing relievers, trading for people, working with them. I think if we do see, I think Danish could be someone who, if he pitched with the Yankees in the majors, could have about a 4.5 ERA out of the pen. Not great, but that's still good, like good quantity there. If he pitches, he could pitch a lot of quantity there. It's great depth to have, one of the better pieces of depth. Again, pitches have good movement. He's not a horrible pitcher, doesn't have a terrible track record. We just got Ryan Weber 2.0 in my mind.